Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's meteorologist Jennifer Schaff. Well, it's another cloudy, cloudy start this morning, a lot like yesterday morning. The cloud deck out there, we've seen no indication of the sun, and I think that's going to be the case throughout the day. Temperatures have been mild, though. We dropped off to only 43 for a low last night. We're at 44 right now. The humidity, 71%. We have not seen the fog this morning. We had some fog around yesterday morning. Has not been evident this morning. Visibility at 8 miles because of the cloud cover, and the winds are calm. Temperatures in the mid-40s at 11 a.m. with the clouds. Cloudy skies through the afternoon. We just slowly edge up those temperatures a few degrees. We end up at 48 for an afternoon high. So not much decline today in terms of the temperature, but it will stay cloudy but dry. WLWT radar showing the dry conditions this morning. We've had cloud cover uh, since late on Friday, but we have not seen any precipitation. We will likely stay dry again today. Take a look at the low gray clouds, not only for the Ohio River Valley, but up across the Great Lakes and out into the plains. And within all the cloud cover, there is no rain across the Midwest or eastern part of the U.S. So it's just clouds, and I think that'll be the case again today. We have a little bit of a southwest wind at the surface that take temperatures up a few more degrees, even underneath the thick area cloud cover, and then eventually it looks like we'll warm up a few more degrees tomorrow, and that's partly because of the mild air out in the plains that's going to slide into our direction. Right now, temperatures are in the 40s for the Ohio River Valley, but out across the plains, they're in the mid-50s, and that air mass heading into our direction for tomorrow. So we will climb a few more degrees for Monday. We still have a pretty dry day period. I think the shower chance is late in the day tomorrow. On the future cast, our area of high pressure allowing a southwest wind today. It'll pick up a little bit stronger tomorrow. And during the day, we're dry. We even have a chance for some sunshine tomorrow, especially midday and afternoon. Then late afternoon and evening, a leading edge of showers comes in from the west. We'll slide across the tri state throughout the evening. That's our best chance to get wet from this system. I think tomorrow evening, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., let's say, a window with a few tenths of an inch of rain expected. Then the front comes through tomorrow night. Behind it on Tuesday, not a lot for measurable rainfall, but it's cloudy. We have drizzle. We have pockets of light showers. It'll be breezy. Temperatures peak only in the upper 40s for the midday, then fall off for the afternoon. So we'll continue with another cloudy day. Our window for some sunshine is tomorrow, and then we bring back the clouds again for Tuesday. And it'll be kind of damp out there with the showers and the drizzle. Looking at our future cast, the clock's going, but the color just stays white with the cloud cover today, tonight, tomorrow. It starts to break up. Up. Tomorrow evening, showers sliding in from the west, maybe two, maybe three tenths of an inch out of it. Then we'll start to break up clouds for the overnight, but showers return then heading into Tuesday. Today, 48 degrees for a high temperature. In the evening, we only drop off a few to 45. Clouds stick around with the southwest wind. 51 for a high tomorrow. The showers and drizzle around for Tuesday at 47, falling late in the day. Highs in the mid to upper 30s, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but sunshine. Then we have the cold air in place, and we have a system coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. We'll watch where it sets up for the rain-snow line. Right now going for a mix, but it does look like somewhere in the Ohio River Valley, some accumulating snowfall on Saturday to watch uh, for next weekend's forecast. Jonathan. Tomorrow.